science. That's what we're doing this month on the Winter Fam channel. Yeah. Me, Winter Will, and the Christmas microscope. Let's check it out. So Christmas just gone by. Winter Will here got this National Geographic microscope for a Christmas present. Yeah. And uh, Christmas time, tomato soup on your face. How can you go on YouTube with tomato soup on your face? That's terrible, look at that. Um, Christmas time, you had a little go, right? Mm. You got some pieces of leaf and you looked at some stuff. But today we've decided um, to take a look at some more interesting things. So what we've decided to do today is to go outside to our pond. We have a little pond in the garden. We're gonna take you outside. We're going to collect some green algae goo and we're going to take a look at that through the microscope and uh, make some observations about that stuff to see what it is, right? So let's get let's get it on. So what have we got? What comes with the kit? We've got some... So, tweezers. Some tweezers. And we're going to use that to do... Picking up the algae. Picking up the goo. Have a, that's a pipette. Pet. You can use that to collect small amounts of liquid. Let's show everyone what that looks like. There we go. So you just have a little bulb at the bottom there. You give that a squeeze and that sucks in liquid. But we're not going to use that. We won't need that today because we have... It's like a test tube. It's a little... Like a little flask. And it's got... It's got... If you look real close, it's got um, a measurement on the side, a gauge on the side, so you can see how much liquid you have in your little flask, which is pretty cool. Um, it comes with a slicer to chop up your things tomorrow. It does, it does come with a slicer. Yeah, so what's that for? Um, slicing things, so if like, you want a piece of leaf, but the leaf is too big, uh -huh. just put it in a little slot. Yep. So you need thin slices. Yeah. So why do you need thin slices? Because you need to make, be able to fit all of these slides, which you put your thing that you're looking into. Yeah. Oh. So it needs to be thin so the light can pass through. Oh yeah. Yeah. So it and passes like through. Office. There's the light switch, yeah. So it passes through the slide, through the material that you're looking at, down the lens and into your eye. Mm-hmm. Okay. So what else comes with the kit? So we get various slides. Um we get you get shrimp brine eggs. Oh, so you kind of like sea monkeys, I guess. Yeah, so you're supposed to put them in the water. Yeah. Wait for them to grow and then look at them swimming around in the water. Yeah, we'll do that one day. But today, we're going to look at pond water, right? Yes. Okay, let's get it on. So what do we need? We need a flask and our we need tweezers. our tweezers. And not that. <laughs> okay. okay, got some shoes on? Let's go outside. Always wear shoes outside. Okay, winter wheel. I guess I was having a little practice earlier on, right? And there's some nice green goo right here in this part of the pond. So see if you can grab that with your tweezers. Oh, got some. <laughs> Oh, gross. There it is. Get it in the old flask. There you go. And put a little, just get a little water as well, just to keep it from drying out, yeah? Fill it up a bit. That should be. That should be plenty. Okay, let's get inside see what this stuff looks like. Let's take everyone through how the, how the microscope works, Will. Okay, so, first, we need batteries to make the light be able to turn on and off, but luckily, it comes with batteries, so you don't need that. And if you want to adjust how you see it, you turn these knobs, and you can have how much 
Like... Yeah, so it has it has uh, three settings for magnification, three different lenses. So we've got four, four times zoom, we have ten times zoom, and then the big one, 40 four. times zoom. So let's set the microscope to four times zoom. First off, shall we? Let's get our slide underneath the microscope. Sorry. And then I've taken the lid off of the flask and you see if you can grab some of that uh, gooey algae and let's get some under the slide. Okay. So that's the um we got our algae. Okay, grab it, grab a little, we just, I think we just need a little. Yeah. Just the hair. Yeah. Yeah, we need a slide cover too, right? So we're joined now by biologist Winter Luke. He's here, big rubber. And yeah, we need a slide cover. So a slide cover goes between the slide, the lens, and the object that you're looking at, so that uh, you don't get goop on the lens. So that goes over the top of what you're observing with the microscope. Um, I'm turning these knobs. Um, if you want it to go down, push it down. <laughs> yeah, you turn the wheel. Then it goes up and down, right? Up and down. Yeah. And if you don't know what this does, you can adjust the eyepiece. So the focus of the eyepiece, you can adjust as well. How are you doing? Got it. <laughs> okay, so what we've done, what we've done is we've connected my phone to the TV, so we can stream from my phone to the TV. If you just go on the camera app, Will, that's it. Okay, and the other good thing about the uh, National Ge Geographic kit is that it comes with this handy adapter to get your phone over the eyepiece so you can see what you're looking at down the lens. Oh. So I can show everyone now what we can see down the microscope. Whoa. So Will, if you orient the phone sideways, we'll get a bigger shot, a bigger view. That's a good tip. So if you just turn it around, let the phone catch up. There you go. So the phone's now caught up and we have yeah, just hold it, yeah. And of course the benefit of this is, if you zoom the picture on the phone screen, you get even better magnification. You can see these two little blobs. So yeah, we can see two little blobs, which are interesting. We don't know what they are. What do you think they are, big brother Luke? Bubbles. Bubbles of water. They're called artifacts. Artifacts, is that right? Is that a scientific term that we've learned? I think there's something on the microscope lens that we can't believe that. Okay. This is pondweed, algae that's growing in our pond. And we can see how it's almost like little branches of a tree, right? Tiny. Grass. Yeah, tiny like blades of grass. How does this thing stay alive in the pond? What does it eat? Sun. It eats what? Sun. Sunlight. Okay. How can you eat sunlight? Photosynthesis. Oh, moss photosynthesis. You tell us, Luke. What's so photosynthesis? The greenness of the pond weed uh -huh. is from the chloroplast within the cell. Yeah. Which helps to take in the sunlight, which is then combined with carbon dioxide and it forms oxygen and it makes energy. Makes energy from the plant, for the plant? Yeah, and then the oxygen is a byproduct. Does it make, does it make a 
form of sugar for the plant to use as fuel. So what magnification are we at now, guys? Ten. Should we go up? Let's take it up to 40, right? No, but Luke needs to focus it on 10. Okay. Let's get it focused in. I love this. Oh my goodness, I can see myself. Do that again. Do that again. Look. It goes on forever. Nice to have Luke in the video, eh? Yeah, we like it. He should come more often. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> Focused it. There we go. Turn it up. So this is. Focus. That's still ten. Ten times zoom. Yeah, you can. That's pretty clear. That's all we've got time for this month. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Check out the description for a link to one of these bad boys, the National Geographic Microscope Kit. And uh, we'll see you next time here on the Winter Fan channel. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a like. See ya.